All right, and uh, welcome back to the control room here. Uh, we have Kristen Slalina here, and she is a former solar racer herself. Uh, Kristen, can you tell me some of your background uh, and why you're here at the uh, Solar Car Challenge? Yes, so I am so honored to be here. This brings back tremendous memories for me personally. Um, it was the senior year um, at MIT in 1991 that I was co-captain and driver. We did three races and those races were so fun that that is what catapulted me into my world of spending the last 30 years in automotive. So really appreciate that experience for really, you know, in a sense, transforming my life and helping me find my passion. What is the, the importance of STEM programs like this? Um, why are they important? Yeah, you know, it's, it's extremely, like, as a kid, I'm thinking about the experiences that I've had and what led me to where I was. Um, I would have thrived on having an experience like what these kids have today in high school. What it does is these experiences help them show different areas that they might not have even known that they had an interest in and also different aspects like racing is fun, right? And so what better way than to create that car that you're racing and then you get that personal satisfaction of, of completing that and accomplishing it, which really can, it can change your life. So we just need to get our young people exposed to a lot more of these amazing experiences where they're actually creating, designing, and doing things that they probably never thought was possible. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when schools are considering doing this, the time and monetary constraints, the dedication, uh, for faculty as well as students can sometimes be prohibitive. Um, what do you say to that if someone's like, oh, I just don't think that I can, can, can do a program of that size? What do you say to that? Yeah, so my mental philosophy is where there's a will, there's a way. And, um, you know, on the MIT Solar Car team, we did not have much funding at all. So we had to be what I call very scrappy. Um, so I was calling up lots of companies and it was very difficult to actually get money, but it was much easier to get parts and materials donated. So then it just takes, you know, just work, right, on your part to, to create and to make it. Um, so as I said, where there's a will, there's a way, and we can always make things happen. So don't let that stop you. Um, have you seen in these sort of STEM activities um, more women being involved? Um, have you seen changes over the years in that mentality? Yes, thankfully. I have to say 31 years ago, there were not many of us involved. Um, though there are, there were, it did exist, which was a good thing. And I do love to see, like as I'm walking through and seeing all the teams, and especially this morning when they were all there together, it was really great to see that there were so many women and more of a balance. I, I, I just love that. Nice, and I think like you said, you attribute a lot of your success today uh, in your career to uh, your solar experience, your solar car racing experiences back in college. Um, exactly. Most people think of this as a college style competition. Um, right. Very few people <laughs> know that high schools can compete. Can high schools compete? Absolutely. I mean, some of those cars um, could, could easily be in the college, what I call the college racing world. And uh, so it's just amazing what the kids can do. And kids, I don't know if they're smarter nowadays or not, but uh, maybe they're just exposed to more because honestly, I didn't have Google back then. <laughs> and, uh, that's right, that's right. Good to see. Great, uh, well, anything else you'd like to add? No, it's just as uh, everyone was trying to, I know, stay cool on this hot weather, but it uh, was really just fantastic to see the excitement and energy of the kids this morning, um, waving the green flag for the start of the last day of the race, and really looking forward to the award ceremony tonight and, um, and, and the winners. Great. Uh, well, thank you very much, Kristen, for stopping by our control room here. Uh, it's an honor to meet probably one of the first solar car racers in what was 30 years ago, probably a very new competition. Um, great. And uh, cut back to racing. Excellent. Thanks.